Hey y'all, we're back at it. All right, so we did the napkins. We glued the napkins on the paper. So we have this little bit of overhang. You can actually leave it if you want to for that look. Oh, and here's our cards, which I, I took the last one out, you know, the advertisement, so we'll have to cover that one up. So that's all dried, but if you want to get rid of these, you can try to tear it. It doesn't work really well. So the best way to do this is, I have my glue water here. I'll just go back into my little glue water. Just get it wet. Let me see. Do I have something else? Let me use this. Grab a rag here. Good Lord. I didn't think I was going to get that one. Okay. Let me scooch back up here. And we're just going to get this wet. And then I have paintbrushes also that, you know, you, with the little tube that you put water in. But I'm trying to use just Dollar Tree stuff. Okay. Put that over there. So you take your wet paintbrush and you can do it on either side. Let's go this side. And then you just tap. You're going to get wet where you want to tear it. And see how it's just making that wet line. And then you can also, I mean, if you want to paint it down like this, go all the way to the edge and tear. Now you can trim this with scissors, you know, if you don't want this kind of raggedy look. Trim it with scissors, trim it just right on the edge, but I kind of like this. So that's what we're doing. So then this is the edge that you get. And again, like I said, if you don't like this, just hit it with with um, scissors or the trimmer. And why do we like that sound? We love it, don't we? All right, this just needs to be trimmed some. Get a little more water on this. Oops, got a little water there, but that's fine. That'll just make it even more crinkly. And trim these edges up. And just pull, pull, pull. So I don't think I've, you guys, I've talked to you since I had the bass tournament. And, oh no. Fly is in here. I had my door open, so hopefully it would go out. You know, and it's rainy. We had the door, back door open, so the dogs could run in and out. And it's, you know, it's rainy, and so one of these big, heavy flies came in, and I was in here. It was really quiet. I was working on an email, and here's a... I'm thinking, oh my gosh, big, heavy, slow, but just fast enough to stay that far away from me that I couldn't, that I couldn't get him. So I opened my door, left it open for a little while, and thought, oh, you know, he'll... I'll get out of here. Well, I thought he did because I hadn't hurt him. And I just hurt him. Ugh. I'm going to be like, who was it? Elmer Fudd with a shotgun <laughs> trying to get it. All right. So this is what we have. So we can tear this up and, you know, make corner tucks. You know, you could do all kinds of stuff with it. I think I'm going to just leave it as a page. And that's why I said I, this is one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why I don't sew my signatures in until I'm all done is because I may want to add. So... Anyway, this, oh, God, ah, uh. <laughs> okay, flies after me. All right, um, this is a little plain, so let's use our stencil that we got, and I'm really wanting to take this off. Let me see if this will pop off. Oh, we could just tear it off, because it's kind of driving me crazy. I mean, I understand, you know, the concept and everything, but... It just kind of drives me. There we go. That's all right. That little part's no big deal. There we go. All right. So, do we want to use them all? Do we want to use some? I just picked out some pink ink. Let me grab a brush here. Picket fence, picket fence brushes, which you can use. You know, one of these. You can use this. Whatever you want to use. And we're just going to put a little bit here and there. Let's just go for, I think we're going to go for the, the lines. 
Now you can, you know, this is all up to you. If you want the whole thing, you know, just so, go for it. If you want a little bit here and there, which that's what I'm going to do, ink this up. And you can do it as light as you want, as dark as you want. I just want to add a little color to it. You can pull it up and see how it's going. A little darker here, maybe. And then we can move it over. This is where you, it's, it's yours. You get to do whatever you want with it. We can move up here a little bit, offset it. Just do a little bit. Just give a little, little something, something there. Just a little bit down here. And I, I usually, when I do stuff like this, I keep it light enough that you could write over it and read it just fine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just a little bit down here. Okay, so that gives us a little, little something, something. And I ink everything. Where's my lid? I ink the edges. You can ink it as you go. You can decorate everything and then go back and ink. And I use a dauber. This does not work well as far as inking the edges. So I go through, that was juicy. I just hit the edges. And you may not like that look. And that must be a new vintage photo. I think it is. And these things are really inexpensive. I use it until they literally start falling apart. My fly is trying to make a an appearance on the video. He's buzzing back through here. Oh, I can't stand a fly. All right. And then if you want to do this side and go back through. And do that. Anyway, what I was going to say. Anyway, we finished the tournament. It, great turnout. Um... Good time had by all. And then I felt really bad because we had to skedaddle. I mean, as soon as it was over with, I got through with all the photos, um, the auction stuff, and that little bit. Just take a little bit of glue. I'll just have a glue stick here. Just rub a little bit of glue there on the corner and smush that down. So it's always good to have a glue stick handy. All right, set that to the side. Um, you can go through and decorate this a little bit more if you wanted to, but I think we're just going to leave it like this for a while. Fold it in half. And I usually like to take my bone folder and give it a little crease. Okay. And then if you want to look through and kind of see where you want to put it, I mean, this is kind of a plain area there, which I mean, it's not going to be when we decorate it, but, you know, kind of see where you want it. I mean, this wouldn't look great with it because it's going to be really busy there. Uh, another real busy area. So I think we'll put it back here. And you can fold it either way. If you want to fold it this way or if you want to fold it that way. And we'll just stick that in there like that. Yes, we still have our pages. We just haven't gotten to it. Pages that stick out. All right. And then with these... We can just wait. I mean, we can go ahead and trim them out, um, but we'll use these as little tuck spots or little whatever. So we, we don't have enough decorations yet to stick those in there. We can wait on those. Let's do, you remember our pieces left over? One of them that we had trimmed down, one of the pages that we trimmed down. And it was pretty thin paper, so we glued these together. There's two here. And we can make a belly band out of it. And you can glue it in first and then decorate which it's up to you. I usually decorate mine first and then glue it in. Um, I will say, when you make a belly band, I'm gluing it in on, and you're gonna glue it on just like this. Some people will turn one edge under like that, and then glue that. Okay, so you see what's going on there. I don't do that because when you start sliding stuff in and out of there, that creates a little lip and you could hit that and it your stuff doesn't slide in really well yes it does give you a tad more room 
um, I mean, it will give you the whole length. Whereas if you just glue it straight like I'm talking about, it's going to take away just a little smidgen on either side. But to me, that's not a, a big deal. Um, so I just wanted, I wanted to let you know that's, that's why I do it the way I do. All right. I pulled a couple of things. Oh, that fly's going to drive me crazy. Um, I just grabbed some stuff here. And we can layer it up. You can keep it simple. Um, you can zhuzh it up. I mean, like I said, it's really, really what you want to do. You're going to hear me say that over and over again because it is yours. Um, if it's going to go next to that, we could add a little pink to it. Okay, let's see here. Let's just open this up. Remember, it's paper. If you don't like it, Keep working with it until you like it or throw it away. Get out of there. Okay. So I got this. Anyway, I keep interrupting myself. So I, uh, we had to run out of there when it was all over with because we had, from where I was at the lake to home was probably a good 20 minutes with no traffic, 15, 20 minutes. And, um, like I said, it wasn't that far, but because we live where we live in the hills and the curves and all that, it takes a lot longer. Um, so a good 15 minute drive, we'll say, uh, to home. AJ had to change. I had to do her hair. Um, had to finish some baskets, which I ended up doing that at school. <laughs> I didn't even change, um, which usually I, I dress for all the occasions, but not this time. Um, let's just add a strip down the middle here. Give it a little color. So anyway, we went home. I told AJ, run straight to the bathroom, wash your hands and face, go to your room, get naked, and I'll start throwing clothes at you. <laughs> She's like, okay. So that's what we did. I turned the hot iron on and um, did her hair. I grabbed all my basket stuff and we jumped in the car and because I was going to be there at a certain time, um, which I wasn't there at six. Like I said, I was going to be. She didn't have to be in her chair you know, call time was 6.30. She had to be in her chair. So we were there plenty of time for that. And so she ran in. I ran in to get some of the stuff the kids um, had brought in for uh, one of the teachers, one of the band directors, and um, added, added that to my basket, went back out in the car. Keith was sitting out there for a while. And I was in the back making the baskets, writing the cards, and um, got that all done. And then when we were finished, I had to sneak in and set towards the front um, so she wouldn't see. Now these are little stickers and they're just thin. I mean, it's probably maybe 65, 80 pound, like uh, like craft card stock. Um, what do we wanna do here? We can add a little piece. Let's see what we have in here. So anyway, and then I went and got all the other stuff at the kids and families brought in for because she's pregnant gonna have a baby here like in a week and um we're not gonna do glitter right now let me get rid of that Ooh, that's very interesting look at that what is this oh just layers so these are just scraps so there's all different uh, sizes and um paperweights and styles and oh that's interesting Look at that. That's like handmade paper. That might be kind of cool behind this. Um, I was going to say we could use a punch and punch something out. Is that cheating if I use a punch? Mm, I don't know. We'll just cut it. We'll just cut a piece. Do we want to use a trimmer or just use our scissors? Or you could tear it. I don't know how well this will tear. Ooh, that's not going to tear. I don't know what that is, but it's not going to tear. I'm trying to get these cool pieces in there. Anyway, so we're sitting like, Keith and I are sitting like on a third row down there in the very front. And I um, have all these bags and basket and stuff beside me. And uh, anyway, she's on stage. They're, you know, warming up. And uh, so the concert was... Fabulous. Super fantastic. I think we'll just go with that. 
Try not to overthink it too much. Um, you could even, if you have a corner rounder, if you want to round the corners, you could. Let's see. We're going to ink it up. So I ink everything. Um, yeah, this is a brand new, a brand new ink pad. Um, do that. So anyway, they played, oh my gosh, if you've never heard it, Terracotta Warriors. The orchestra version of it. Oh my gosh, or the band version, whatever you want to call Fantastic. And where it comes from is in, don't hold me to this, China, Japan, one of those places. Anyway, over there, these were actually discovered in the 70s. There was a farmer that was, you know, cultivating the land, whatever, and he found something and then they unearthed it. And there's like 9,906 or something of these terracotta warriors. They're like full size warriors made out of terracotta. And they were buried with the emperor to protect him in the afterlife. And so this song, uh, this music, is calling to the warriors to awaken them to defend the emperor. And anyway, it is just fantastic. I mean, it's one of those that you close your eyes and you just feel. Anyway, it's super cool. Um, so anyway, that was one of the songs. And like I said, it was fantastic. So the... Fr the um, what they call the, um, they have the symphonic band, they have marching band, gosh, they have jazz band, they have, uh, anyway, all kinds, but, um, concert band, anyway, I think that's what AJ is, <laughs> concert band, and, um, what shall we put on there, let's go for this one, and, uh, so they played, I think, three songs, and, um, anyway, then they had some kids that went to state that, that, um, received gold, and so they did their solos, that's pretty sticky. I think it'll be all right. We could put that there. We could put it in the middle. Let's just, I don't want to cover those up. Let's put it towards the top. And so they did their solos. And anyway, it was just a great time. And then at the end, they had the seniors, the can you recognize the baby pictures? And that was a lot of fun. And then uh, the band director announced the theme for next year and told everybody that we're having new uniforms. And anyway, the, the crowd went wild, literally. The crowd went wild. So anyway, uh, it was in the very end. He called uh, um, the band director and her husband up and then said, you know, some nice things and said, you know, here's some stuff for you and you're loved and we appreciate you. And she, they were shocked. She and her husband were shocked. Very appreciative. Young couple. Just fantastic. So anyway, it was it was fun. It was nice. I think we need to go with the pink one since we're kind of doing pink. And I'm, you know, go big or go home. And I think I'm going to add a little dollop of... I remember to take this off if I can. Ugh, may not be able to. Okay. Plan B. Add a little dollop on here. Oh, there's my tip. Last time I took this off, it was gone. Okay, and you could actually, we could take this off because we need to keep it pretty flat. So we'll just discard that and then glue this down. Well, I'm just not having very good luck with glue. There we go. Anyway, so um, anyway, it was a great night. There was a few tears because, you know, it was the senior's last concert and they're going to be missed, and anyway, it was a lot of fun. And we had to run through McDonald's at 9 o'clock and get a burger, and a chicken burger, as my daughter calls them. And we're going to glue this down, and we're just going to put glue here in the middle. And um, anyway, came home and ate and got ready for bed, and so uh, it was a whirlwind of a day starting at 3 a.m., put that in the middle so I don't know the tallies yet as far as how much money we raised for charity we had big payouts for the fishermen that was great okay and like I said this can be anything you want it to be um, let's pick a page put this to the side 
avalanche there. And let's see where we're going to put this. I mean, that looks good right there. That matches the pink. Let's go for that. So I'm just going to trim off this top part. Let's see how much. So we can kind of put that in the middle. I'm not a big measurer as far as a measuring stick. Um, I do a lot of tearing. It started raining again. We have, we're having that nice steady rain. You know, the kind that really soaks in and anyway, just the really nice, good sleeping weather. <laughs> Crack a window and listen to it rain. I can hear it now though. Really nice. So I glue one side down and that takes a hold pretty quick. And then what I'll do is just flip this up and then put a little bead of glue. Instead of here, I put it on the paper right there at the edge. And then push that down and let that take a hold. Let that go for a second. I think my uh, glue's magic because like I said, that little silver tip because it was, it was gone. <laughs> and now it's reappeared. All right, then what you can do is slip that out and then turn it over on this side and that off like that and you have a belly band put goodies behind oh I didn't ink up the edges on that one oh well um or something and you can you know you can ink as you go or like I said when you're all done I usually kind of do it as I go just because it breaks it up or you could sit and watch TV watch a good movie and go through and ink everything. Because it's a lot of inking. You gotta do all the sides. You don't need to do this because it's gonna be sewn in. You're not gonna see it. Like this, and then you have all this to do too. <laughs> so you get the picture. All right. You don't need to see me doing a bunch of inking. All right, so there we have already two elements. We'll slide this back in. So there's that. All right. Then I was thinking, where is, where's my envelopes? I just had them. I just used them. Hello. And oh, right here. These are the ones I got at Dollar Tree. All right. So we have an envelope. It's a little long. Let me bring this back. A little long here. So there's a ton of things you can do with envelopes. Um, and this is why I like the square edge and not the V. So let's pick a page where we want to put this. Hmm. We could put it, we could put it there, we could put it, let's just put it right here. All right. Um, I was thinking we'd make a tuck spot and a little pocket area. You can um, cut this straight across. You can cut it at an angle. I think, I think what we're going to do on this one, I think we're just going to cut it straight across. We're going to glue that shut. And if it's going to bug you, you know, make sure you can, you know, make sure it's straight and get you a little cutter out. Let's talk about that. Oh my gosh. Like 10 bucks for this little We Are Memory Keepers cutter. Love it. I mean, I have it sitting here with me all the time. And um, see, that's how I measure. I got my finger. I have my finger on it. <laughs> um, I mean, it's good for this little stuff like this. You know, I have my big Fiskars trimmer that I just absolutely love. But it's kind of big. So we have this we can use for later. All right, so this is what it looks like. And I think we're gonna add a we're gonna add a hinge to this. I'll show you how to make a hinge. Let me get we could actually use one of these. We're just about wide enough. Let me trim this off the bottom where it's even. And then 
going to measure at the same, about the same height. Yeah. And then we're just going to fold this in half. And you can ink the edges because some of it will be seen. Like that. Okay. So we're just going to sew, we're going to sew, we're going to glue this on the back side of the envelope. So here's your little open spot because it's going to hinge open like this. All right. And then I usually like to miter my corners just because I think it looks better. I've got to get my trash can back under me right here so I can just scrape all this stuff off. I keep saying I'm going to do it and then I keep forgetting. All right. Put some glue on here. Get it on the edges really well. And line that up right on the edge. Get off there. And you can do it from the other side, whatever is easiest for you. Let that take a hold for just a minute. All right, and this is what you have. So when we attach this down, this will open up. Oops, got the wrong side. That's coming a little loose there. I didn't glue the two together very well, did I? No biggie. We're doing it now. Does this side need a little love? Yeah, well, looky there. Maybe I didn't even glue it down at all. I always call it needing surgery at the, <laughs> about said at the clinic, um, at the scrapbook store and I'll bring something up to the front and it's, you know, the tag's coming off of it or, you know, the hang tab. I said, it needs surgery. we got to fix it. All right. Let's see. Do I want to? Do this. So you could trim that off. And have that but I think I wanted a little sturdier so let's glue this shut <clears throat> and then we can just trim trim the edge I'm gonna add a little more glue here just so it'll be stronger and then we will take knocking everything over here these little um, can you see that? These are little add-ons uh, for the Nouveau Glue. Just love it. All right, I'm gonna get a little trimmer out so it will be even. I'm gonna turn this on the back side just because of the glue. And then just trim that off. Okay, so now we have this. And then we can decorate it however we want. And you can ink the edges now. You can do it after you decorate. You can get this side and the back side. And again, there's you know a hundred ways to do the envelopes. If you want it like this, if you want to glue the top and just have a little pocket here, and then we're gonna have it open up like this, or you could just glue it down like this, have a tuck spot here, and then another one here. Fold that one down so it exposes which is kind of cool. <laughs> we want to do that. Let's see. Let's see if there's some paper over here we can decorate with. Um, oh, this would be good for um, what I do with my book. For book pages. Now, don't panic here. Yes, it's a new book and I'm going to tear it apart. <laughs> it's all right. But it's words of encouragement. All right. And if you don't want, you know, all this extra here, you want just the words. And you can trim it off. This is nice because it has metal all the way around it. So it gives you that good sharp edge. 
like that. And you could save these pieces and make a, you know, a collage. Let's see, is that going to be enough? Yeah, if you just wanted the words on there. And then you could trim all that up when you're done. Yeah. So let's just take our handy dandy glue stick. And another trick is, lost my book again. If you have an old book, use it to glue when you know when you're using a glue stick because you're gonna go off the edges. And then when you get, you know, when the page gets all gluey, <laughs> then just go to another page, just tear that off. So that way you're not getting it on this page or you're not getting it on your work surface and then having to clean it and all of that. So let's glue this up. Get these corners good. And lay that down. Give it a good smoosh. Rub on the back side and then <clears throat> and then trim it with your uh, trimmer or just tear it. Do this side. So it looks like I've got I have several of you girls working with me, which is exciting. Exciting and new. Name that tune. All right, and in that little bit, I'll just tear off like this, maybe. Yep. So there's that. And what else do we want to do? Like I said, do we want to go ahead and do we want to fold that down? Let everybody know that there's a pocket there. I think so. And I like to use my bone folder for a crisp edge. All right. We want to do something to the back because that's going to open up. What shall we do there? We could. We could, we could add some pretty flowers. What do you think about them apples? Or pieces of it. Let's just let's just take this one. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Just something a little different. And then if we want to go back and um, color this in a little bit, we can. Glue, glue, glue. I'm trying this glue out. Uh, Pam at the Paper Outpost swears by it. Um, she said that's her her go-to, and uh, she's not sponsored by it or anything. But she said she absolutely loves it. And um, so I thought, it's a little more expensive, but if it's worth it. Okay then. All right, I'd have a little bit more room if I'd clear off my desk, wouldn't I? I know, I know. All right, let's trim this off. And let's see, this will be easier this way because it's a thinner edge there. Oops, let me go on up. I'll just tear this all the way around. Save these pieces. And one more here. So now we have our other side covered. And we can ink the edges. It's still a little wet from the glue. That edge. And all of this. And if you want to leave it like this or add a little stencil to it. Um, again, it's your project. So 
Hold that back. So then we're just going to take and glue this in. Okay, so it'll open that way. So glue the outside of your flap here. Make sure you get glue, whoops, all the way to the edge. But stay on the paper. And, and you don't want it too close to the spine. You know, because you have your other papers and um, especially when you get more stuff in there. It doesn't like sharing too much. All right. So now we have this, which we can decorate even more. But you have this little area, just something, you know, you want to write something there and it's a secret. So there's that. All right. Like I said, we, we can decorate it however. But let's call this. And um, so we've done this. A little belly band. And... And a little tuck spot there, and a little hiding, a little hidden uh, journaling spot. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye for now.